of his request, but they have far more to consider. Behind the walls of Lucasville Prison, David Carroll has lived with the state's most dangerous criminals. And something even worse, his part in the death of Marcus Faisal. You know, it, it's tough. It is tough. And I, I think about it. I, I have dreams about it. I have nightmares about it. Um, you know, I was on medication when I when I first got here. And, you know, it was, it was helping out. And um, it's... I've had a lot of time to grieve. In my exclusive 2008 interview, he had served about two years. Now, he's been in prison 16 years, and prosecutors say that's where he should stay. So that's what they knowingly did. They willingly, purposely put this child in the spot where he suffered immensely. Marcus Faisal was autistic, just three years old. He became the foster child of David and Liz Carroll. August of 2006, he was duct taped, put into a rug and into a hot closet until he died. But police weren't called. Instead, a cover plan was hatched. Thousands turned out after Liz Carroll said she passed out at a park and Marcus wandered off. When in reality, David Carroll and Amy Baker, the Carroll's living girlfriend, burned his body in Brown County, then threw the remains into the Ohio River. David Carroll blamed Amy Baker for the death. Uh, Amy and I, uh, we wanted to have sex, got, you know, got greedy. Uh, Amy said, you know, take the kids outside, we'll put Marcus down for a nap. Uh, she was supposedly supposed to be putting Marcus down for a nap. Uh, we found out later on that you know, my wife and I, when we found Marcus later on, that she wasn't actually put him down for a nap. She taped him up and she in a blanket and um, he died. But Amy Baker cooperated with police and testified, blaming the Carrolls. Liz Carroll was convicted. David Carroll pleaded guilty and now, 16 years later, is asking to leave the place where he's been confined. Yeah, now, even if the parole board makes a decision today, they won't release it. They send it to another panel for yet another review, uh, and that process could take about two weeks. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT.